boy, it wasn't nobody using y'all because 10 out of 10, we didn't want y'all. The one to our passport bros, we didn't want. <laughs> and that's on everything. Ah, uh, my comrades, the gods smile upon us because it doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. Like the great Moby Dick, Lord Destro was startled by this mystical sea crustacean. As I grabbed my trusty Cobra issue sea harpoon to slay this wild, ravaging sea beast, drunk with berserker rage, it was only her shiny septum ring that alerted your grace, Lord Destro, that she was actually just a well-fed affiliate of the Bitter Sisterhood Mafia. So stuffed was her cheeks with adipose tissue and decaying flesh that not even the words she spoke could fit out of her mouth. Even plagued with this affliction, the action of choosing air over words, she still found the strength and motivation to bash the beloved passport bros in their epic quest for unregulated tenderloin distribution. My comrades, this is the result of years of Long Island iced teas, Sunday brunches, and a sprinkle of black girl magic. Let me make something abundantly clear. All tenderloins are not created equal. Leave this carcass for the hyenas and John Crow. John Crow, John Crow. Did this man just admit that he went to a foreign country to find himself a wife because he wants somebody with traditional values, which means that he wants a slave? So accusations! These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And I want you not to focus on her flawed logic for a second, but on how angry she is to discover that men have other options. That to be with a man of value, you have to actually provide something valuable. You can call it slavery all you want. <laughs> it really doesn't matter to the Dark Army, because French toast and poached eggs will be served to your grace, Lord Destro, regardless. And never will Lord Destro ask for sex from my woman, for I am entitled to it. Yes, my comrades, don't be scared of that word. Entitlement is your sworn right, but first you must believe that you deserve it. If you are not entitled to her tenderloin, you must leave it where it stands. Sex should never be bartered. That goes for both parties, because this is the this way. Is the this way. is the way. Now before we go any further into this rabbit hole, Lord Destro requires you to push that like button and smash that bell in the name of Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. and leave a comment below to appease the nosy algo. Because as we all know, Big Brother is always watching. Now let the Jubakari commence. A future rests with Destro now. Venus, if your whole reason for, oh, we're going to go to other countries and find women there, we're going to marry women from other countries. Most of them don't actually marry those women because the are going there for sex. And obviously, they're convincing their bros to go there. You're all going to marry the same women? No, you're not. But like I said, if their reasoning for doing all that is because us black american women are so are too difficult we're too headstrong we weren't raised to be wise we don't know how to treat a man we're too masculine independent gold diggers all the why would we be mad that you can go to a country a poorer country and pay a woman say 40 to 200 dollars to do let's say have sex with you cook clean do everything you tell her to do why do we be upset or jealous about that Exactly. Why are you upset? This is what we are trying to figure out. I think deep down somewhere in her subconscious, she realizes that her modernization has actually made her obsolete. Why pay hundreds of dollars for a multi-tool when a $3 wrench can do the job? While the multi-tool needs to be recalibrated and retuned every few months, the $3 wrench just needs a sprinkle of DW40 every few years. Deep in her subconscious, she realizes her maintenance cost is too high making it almost impossible to compete with the Brazilian foreign model. Now at this point, most companies would downsize, reorganize, and re-engineer their product to compete in the ever-changing market. But the Modern Woman franchise would rather invest all of their funds into a false advertisement slash propaganda attack to shame you into buying their defective product. That is the Modern Woman, of course. Well, the future will tell us which strategy was more effective. Because y'all know, y'all know the shit that you're asking of these women and getting them to do for you, you're getting it at a very, very cheap price. 
which is why you brag and convince all your bros to go here. Even if it's not the literal $40 they like joking about, every time I see a man try to convince other men to go to a certain destination to do whatever, his, his, his main words are, bro, go here because when I went there, I only had, keywords, I only had, even if it's a couple hundred dollars, they understand that what they're getting in return for what they're paying is a, a huge discount. So even if it's say like 200 bucks, the shit that they're getting out of these women over there. Did it ever occur to you that maybe your services are just overpriced? Maybe you have overvalued yourself and your services. I mean, honestly, do men nowadays look happy and satisfied with your work? You said these men are literally coming back to their friends and bragging about how much fun they had. Are these men leaving the country bragging about you? So why would I or any sane gentleman pay triple to be with you and still go home with a sad panda bear face? <laughs> Regardless of if the men are traveling for sex or for love, they are coming back satisfied to the point where some of them are actually not coming back. Let us ignore other factors for a second like obesity, masculine energy, unbalanced pH, attitude, etc. Let us focus on this point, young lady. Are you valuable to men nowadays? And what's even funnier is say, like Brazil and DR aren't the only countries on this earth that have very beautiful women, feminine, traditional. There are plenty of other, other places, like places in the Middle East, Africa, Northern and Eastern, and probably some parts of Western Africa. But I, what I notice is y'all don't try that shit with the women in those cultures. Because for one, those cultures are very traditional, meaning their family would expect a dowry for you to marry their women. And also, you're not going to go over there talking about, I love how feminine your women are. Here's 20, here's 40 or $100. You get stoned. Oh, yes. Another echo chamber lie these women love to tell themselves so they can sleep at night. First of all, most traditional countries you speak of have clear separation of pro-sex workers and natives. Unlike the U.S., where the 304s and conservative women are pretty much the same thing. These countries all have brothels and harems where women like yourself would be stationed. Dubai, for example, has one of the best brothels in the Middle East. And the price is oh so nice. <laughs> so the men that come to these countries are actually catered to. These countries have found an effective use for their 304s that benefits the population as a whole. Because naturally, concubines are an essential cog in any well-organized economy. These women who have never left the country think that the Middle East is all camels and flying carpets. These countries like UAE, Dubai, and Morocco, for example, have some of the best nightlifes you will ever find. You can meet native women on the streets, in the malls, at events, or even at many nightclubs. Unlike Brittany Grenner, you must respect the laws of these countries, for you are a guest. Be polite, tip everyone, make the women feel special, and you will enjoy great success. Whether you are white, black, Asian, or Latino, Never use your race as a crutch. You are entitled to every piece of tenderloin available in every shade and hue. For a true Uber man will never box his own self in. Furthermore, if anyone was to get stoned, it would be women like yourself. Because if you come to these places dressed like a city girl, well, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, 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 blast. And although you will never be worthy of a monarch such as myself, the Lord Destro would suggest that you poor fools at least give Odegarki a try. So, me, Lord Destro, I spoke.